This video is brought to you by my Discord server that I just launched. If you want to chat with me, if you want to chat with other subscribers, well, check out the link in the description after watching this video. I talk a lot about Mario in my videos and I realize that Mario is far from being the most creative and interesting character in the Mushroom Kingdom. In fact, his nemesis Bowser is actually one heck of a dude. We don't really know Bowser's main occupation besides capturing princesses, but I do believe the guy studied to become an architect at some point in his life. I mean, I've never seen a person build so many different castles and buildings of all sort. Bowser is one creative person and today we I'll check out his best creations. Hey, I'm Nico, and here's my top 10 Bowser's Castles. The final world in Super Mario Bros. 3 actually scared me as a kid, and I mean, I kinda get why now. The music is completely spooky, there's fire everywhere, there are tanks and flying ships, and these tiles where you may or may not get pulled by the evil hand of Satan himself. It's actually brilliant how this world alone builds up the hype to reach the final castle and defeat Bowser. And this final castle doesn't disappoint. It starts with some Bowser statues that look pretty innocent from the outside. But they shoot lasers! Whoa, how was I supposed to know that? Plus, there are multiple paths in the castle itself and you have to stand on falling donuts and jump in extremis to make it alive. It's a very short castle, I'm gonna admit, but it's totally worth it, because you're probably going to be exhausted already after playing the last levels in World 8. Ugh, that was one heck of a castle. The final castle in Super Mario 3D Land is pretty standard, featuring magic koopas, dry bones, lava, moving platforms, poles that you gotta climb, and it ends up with a fight against Bowser. Well, that was pretty easy, we already did it. Psych! You got fooled, boy! This is not the final Bowser's castle. In fact, Bowser built a way bigger one just to the right of that one we just completed. Hashtag rich villains problem. This new castle is so big that it begins with a ride on a skeleton roller coaster and down the mouth of a giant Bowser statue through a sea of dangerous lava where you gotta avoid fireballs and finally up a long staircase reminiscent of the one in Peach's castle. Wait, there are three toads here? How did he even get here alive? I thought it was pretty difficult. Anyways, using those cannons you can finally reach Bowser, which probably ran out of money to actually build a solid floor. I'm sure he spent all of that money for that big statue of him. Eh. Anyways, to defeat him you have to climb up the basement of the castle and all of this build up is actually pretty insane. This level is a true adventure in itself and this is why it's on this list. From the outside, Bowser's castle in the original New Super Mario Bros. DS game looks pretty normal, but that is until you reach that room where there's a door on the ceiling and you hit that P-switch. Yup, this castle is built on a giant moving pillar thing that can be activated by the switches hidden everywhere. This means that the castle becomes some sort of little maze because you see doors that you cannot reach without spinning the entire castle around. I wonder what it looks from the outside when you switch it up. Huh. I'll have to ask Bowser how we came up with that idea. I'd actually like to have a door right there to go straight to the fridge. That would actually be very nice. This next entry comes from the cutest game of all time, Yoshi's Woolly World. But let me tell you that as cute as this game might have been so far, the final level, King Bowser's Castle, is not there to make you go, Oh. The music is stressful and instantly reminds you that the final battle is coming up. You must first start by sneaking into the castle by avoiding flying enemies and deadly pits. And once you enter that castle, you must recover four different colors of yarn to unlock the next part. Getting those yarn balls ain't gonna be easy as you'll go through deadly rooms featuring spikes, lava and more enemies. The final hallway before the fight will pitch you against Kamek, trying to transform the floor into enemies using his magic wand. This castle truly is an adventure, and if you thought this game was easy, this level is here to remind you it can be quite difficult at times. 
Super Mario Galaxy is amongst my favorite game of all time, and I gotta give props to Bowser for being able to capitalize on this whole who cares about gravity trend when building his very own star reactor. This level is pretty amazing because your gravity keeps being switched. Stand on this green platform, boom, you're upside down. It's as simple as that. Then there's these 2D sections with the arrows on the wall, and gravity swirls the way these arrows point, so you gotta be extra careful when you jump, because if you mess up you will end up in a black hole. Not gonna lie, Bowser's Star Reactor is a pretty short level, but then again, building all of this, you know, towers, walls, planets, in space, it must cost a lot of money, so I'm gonna excuse Bowser for this time. The Paper Mario series is kinda dead now, and that's a shame because the first game in the series gave us one of the best Bowser castle ever created. You know, typically Bowser likes to capture Princess Peach, that's kinda what he does as a hobby, but this time he spent many years to secretly build a castle under Peach's castle. So not only can he capture Princess Peach, he can actually capture the entire castle at the same time. That's pretty insane, like, jeez. This castle has his face on it, it floats in the sky, and can hold the weight of the castle and the ground surrounding it. Bowser must be a true engineering genius. Heck, imagine if your house could actually float in the sky like that. Think about it. You could actually travel through the world and could sleep home. No need to pay for an expensive hotel room. Eh, Bowser needs to show me the trick, dude, cause that's pretty impressive. Super Mario 64 features three Bowser levels, all very different, but if I have to pick one for this list, I have to go with the last one, Bowser in the Sky, as it is the most original one in my opinion. It features moving platforms, giant slides that can turn into staircase, and those walls that actually make no sense. Like seriously, how is Mario even supposed to walk like this without sliding? I just don't get it, is, is that Velcro? Ugh. In this level, you have to make your way up to the top, so one mistake and you usually fall back down to the beginning of the level, or sometimes even worse, falling to your doom. I think this level was a good change of pace for Bowser levels, which usually always end up with lava. This one features no lava at all, and it doesn't need it to be truly scary. Look. I don't know what was going up in Bowser's mind back in the 1990s, but his castle from Super Mario World has to be on the list. First off, just look at it from the outside. The castle features a big neon sign with Bowser's name on it. Nowadays Bowser is less obvious when he builds his castle, but back then he truly wanted Mario to know where he was hiding. And can you even call it hiding at this point? <laughs> the best part of this castle is the fact that there are multiple doors to go through and they all feature different challenges. And you don't have to complete them all to reach Bowser. Some are easier than others, so you gotta pick the one you like the most. I just think it makes the castle more believable. You know, instead of being one big corridor, you actually get to pick a door and if you fail, well, you get to pick another one. There's even one section that happens underwater. Wow, Bowser has his very own private interior pool. He's truly a mad lad. So far, all of those constructions were pretty much Mushroom Kingdom-like. You know, castles, reactors, lava, blah blah blah. But this next one could actually fit in the real world. In Super Mario 3D World for Wii U, Bowser does indeed have a giant castle made out of lava. But once you hop in that clear pipe, you will find out that Bowser can actually build something even better. A freaking theme park! It looks so good! I know Nintendo and Universal are currently building a real-life theme park based off Mario, and I wonder if we could actually see a Bowserland theme park too now, I'd love to see that. Anyways, once you enter the final level, you will see that Bowser built one of the biggest skyscraper ever created. And to be fair, I don't really know what he needs a big building like that for, maybe he's renting it or maybe it's just a giant hotel, who knows? We sadly never get to see the inside of the building, but climbing it takes a lot of time, so you know it's a big one. 
The Great Tower of Bowserland truly is a masterpiece in architecture and I'd love to see more levels like this one in future Mario games. So tell me, what's better than a star reactor? Well, a galaxy reactor, of course, and that's the final level in Super Mario Galaxy, and it's truly one masterful construction. The level starts with these gravity spotlight thingies that actually generate gravity when walking inside of them. So, you know, it's super useful to walk on walls. I'd like to have a couple of those in my house. This level also features a little planet made out of lava, on which you must navigate, only to be sent to another one made out of ice where platforms appear as you walk on them. This is pretty convenient, don't you think? There's another planet made out of moving sand, and I forgot to mention that there are fireballs everywhere that you got to avoid, so you know, there's that. The best part of this level has to be the giant lava tunnel at the end. I mean, look at this. You are literally in the center of a big lava donut. There's lava all around you. It's not only the floor is lava, it's the floor is lava, the walls are lava, the ceiling is lava, everything is lava. That's pretty stressful, don't you think? Obviously, a giant donut made out of lava was not enough for Bowser, so he had to build his giant bullet bill cannon to make it even deadlier. This truly is the best thing that Bowser has ever built, period. Hey, I'm Nico and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can always subscribe and leave a little comment down below and you know, maybe give the video a little like. I have more videos like the one you just watched and you can check them out by tapping here or there on your screen. So see you in the next one.